Hey everybody, I'm Michael. This is going to be a full playthrough of the Three Master Ice Rose. So I'm not going to use any hints. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to use any skips. I'm going to use hints, but only for the hidden objects challenges. So full game, no skips. Woohoo! My dear Edward gave me a sealed envelope and left suddenly for Rosemount. Now. I keep having the same nightmare. So, uh, I'll talk more about this video once this uh, cutscene is over. I don't have all the shards. Please, let me go. My power will return only when a mortal restores the magic mirror. Replace the shards! Okay, so that's it. That's the end of the opening cutscene. Uh, the story is we're off to Rosemount to find Edward. He's fallen victim to the Ice Queen. She's a very, very nasty person indeed. So there are going to be two versions of this video. Um, you know, the main version of this video is going to be the uh, version without commentary. And I, I, I'm actually surprised. Uh, yeah, I, I did something similar uh, recently uh, with the game, uh, uh, Lost Legends, Dark Overlord. So I, I did a speedrun for the game. And so, uh, you know, I had a version of the speedrun uh, with commentary, and then a version without any commentary. And uh, for whatever reason, everybody watched uh, the version without any commentary. So I, I'm talking like 300 views versus like 34,000 views. It, it was a, a whale of a difference, and I'm trying to find a whale here. Where on earth is a whale? There's a whale. And a cheese, a pepper, and a strawberry. So that's sort of what I'm doing here, is I'm trying to make magic happen twice. See if I can figure out what, what exactly happened, because it's it's not normal for me to get 34,000 views on a video. No, 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 that's that's not normal. So, uh, uh, I don't know. What, what is it? Is it the, the fact that people want to see this entire game beaten in one video? A an extra long video? Oh, here's the ice queen again. You cannot save Edward, and you will not stop me. Soon all the world will be covered in snow and ice. Frozen forever! So yeah, why is the video popular? Is it because it's just the entire game in one video? Is it because uh, I'm uh, not doing any commentary? Uh, that would be kind of sad if people liked it because I wasn't talking. Oh, I thought people liked my funny commentary. Or is it that people just, you know, were stuck in the game and they really wanted to see uh, just a playthrough of the game without any skips whatsoever? I don't know. I, I guess we'll, we'll find out. So that's why this video is uh, going to be sort of like a, a guinea pig to figure out what people like so much. So I, I, I'm doing two versions of this. Uh, you know, this is a version with commentary, obviously. But uh, the main version is probably going to be the version without any commentary, if history repeats itself. And that's the, the version of this video that everybody wants to watch. Um, then, by golly, that... <laughs> Then uh, that's that's what's gonna happen. Okay, let's see if I can get this, uh, get all these pieces into place. Oh boy, that is not the most elegant uh, solution to the puzzle, but uh, it's a solution to the puzzle. Okay. I am Gerda. We townspeople once stopped the Ice Queen, but now she has returned and taken our lives and loves. If she restores the magic mirror, the world will be swallowed in winter. I see you have love in your heart. You can help me, and I'll help you. Find the locket that holds the memories of my daughter. It's all I have left of her. Have this puzzle. Very simple puzzle. Just find uh, all three of the things. So three pictures of her, three suns. The sun thing is kind of diff difficult because there are like three different suns, whereas the three pictures of her are all the same 
Same with the hearts. Gerda's love for her hearts. family was her weakness. She tried to save her daughter, but fell into the Ice Queen's trap. Long ago, during the Ice Queen's reign, these lands were bound in ice. But Kai and Gerda's love defeated the eternal cold. When spring returned, the city thawed, and rose bushes grew far and wide. The city found new life and a new name, Rosemount. Kai and Gerda settled in Rosemount to keep the Ice Queen from returning, and soon they had a daughter that they named Rose. Now, Gerda's one wish is to see her beloved daughter again. Yeah, so because there's, uh, you know, there's two versions of this video, and uh, the version without commentary is the quote unquote official version of the video uh you know that's why this 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 commentary is gonna be more relaxed it's gonna be more low-key yep so i'm uh, i'm definitely gonna be like focusing mo most of my attention on solving the puzzles and, and stuff like that No, not having done a lot of these uh, videos uh, without commentary before, I, I'm not sure what the uh, audience likes. Does the audience get super mad if you, you, you mess up on puzzles like this one? It seems like that would be something that's annoying. Like if I spent 20 minutes on this puzzle and there's no commentary whatsoever. It, it would just, I think people would either skip over uh, the failure or they'd probably just move on to a new video. Don't know. Oh, I, I forgot the feather duster. Ah, it's right over here. So that's a feather duster. You take the feathers and you put it on there. And, uh... Use that there to get your locket. You put the photo, you put the locket part on there, and now we have the locket for Gerda. Oh boy. And that's going to unfreeze this area. The locket! You found it! I feel my blood warm and rush through me. The Ice Queen's frosty curse is lifting. I've seen the man you're looking for in the city. Hurry now, the Ice Queen's power grows stronger. Oh, and I'm not getting any of the uh, collectibles in this uh, game, so um, I'm not getting the, uh, what do you call it, the squirrels. And I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not also not getting the, uh, the morphing objects. Alrighty. Okay, so now that we've finished these puzzles, we can reach the frozen town of Rosemount. And the Ice Queen's gonna show up and be a jerk again. You meddling mortal! How dare you thaw my victim! It's basically what she does. She shows up occasionally, yells at you. It's basically it. Yeah. Okay, grab all the items on this screen, go forward. Grab the items on this screen. Uh, there's a crow. Let's see, I don't think I've actually grabbed the crowbar. Uh, here's the crowbar, okay, yeah. And see, this thing is a wheel. This is a wheel. So I, I'm using the wheel parts to build a wheel. It's a wheel, so I can move on to the next screen. And the, the crowbar goes over here. So the crowbar goes with the bucket and the rope. And that will give me one of the three golden tiles. It's basically the main puzzle in town, finding the three golden tiles. That way you can get into the hotel area with Kai. And also, I guess you could say there's a, a, a puzzle trying to fix that card. That's that's definitely a puzzle to solve. 
Okay, throw snowballs at that crew. Okay, that's a figurine. Um, this is a, a gem. Two items here. That's a letter from Edward. I wonder why his name is E.G. What's his last name? I am, in fact, wondering what his last name is. I don't know his last name off the top of my head. I don't think they ever say in this game what his last name is. Okay, let's see. Fixed magnifier is over here. Flame is over here. Now let's see if I can find any of the other objects. I'm using hints for the hidden objects uh, challenges. And then trying not to do hints anywhere else, because I feel like that would be, um, you know, annoy the people that are here uh, watching the, the version without commentary. It's like, I don't want to watch somebody skip puzzles. I don't want to watch somebody uh, use a hint button to solve puzzles. I want to see somebody actually solve the puzzles. And wow, that was a really fast solution to that puzzle. Whoa, that was not at all um, how I expected to solve the puzzle. I normally do not beat the puzzle that quickly. And here's Kai. Trespasser. Probably an agent of the Queen. I'll stop you. Just an introduction to him. He just attacks you randomly. I don't know why. It was not, not very nice of him, I'll say that. And uh, he gives us a hidden objects challenge. Okay, there's a shoelace. Uh, let's see, that's an eyeball. It's a letter A. Okay, bird. Let's see, a horseshoe. There's my pencil over here to get the number seven. Grapes, uh, a pipe, a mask, and a crab. There's a pipe. Um, I still don't know what a Turkish coffee pot is. Is that a, that's a coffee pot? Wow, huh? That looks like a pipe. Okay, there's a crab. Let's see if I can find the mask before the hint button fills up. I can't. Good. Yay, okay, so the item you want to find is a shoelace there, and you're going to use it to reach Kai, who is now much nicer. I am Kai. I see now you wish only to find your loved one. I'm afraid the Ice Queen has triumphed here, but where we failed, you can succeed. Save your Edward by defeating the Ice Queen, as Gerda and I did in the past. Find the Ice Queen's icy heart, and I will explain. The Oops, I think I clicked and cut off the uh, dialogue. Oh well. My mistake. Well, I can't go back and undo it now, so uh, I'll just pretend I did that on purpose. <laughs> okay, this is an easy one. Three pictures of Kai right next to each other. Um, hearts. Okay, hearts. Oh gosh, come on, heart, and then a heart, good. There's no skip button, there is a hint button though, that is nice. Uh, normally it's the skip button here in this, this particular- Kai's challenge. mercy was his weakness. He could not destroy the Ice Queen's frozen heart and paid a heavy price for it. Rose grew up hearing the story of the victory over the Ice Queen. She always wanted to see her tomb, but her parents said it was too dangerous. They didn't destroy their enemy but hid her icy heart away and shattered the magic mirror. Powerless and filled with hatred, the Ice Queen waited in her tomb for years. Only a sacrifice from the bloodline of those that captured her could set her free. Now, Kai's only wish is for someone to finish what he couldn't. And I think that's everything for this room, so let's back away. Use the stone over here for this puzzle. Let's hope I can do this without any mistakes. Ugh. Well, I say no mistakes at the same second I make a mistake. OK, 
Okay, um, those keys are, like, tough to find. The ones that aren't exactly the same color, oh boy, yeah, that's sort of a pain. Okay, brush goes over here. And, uh, let's see, I'm going to use my corkscrew here. Please let me have the oil can. I do. Great. And now I can solve that puzzle. Okay, multiple puzzles. So now I have the oil can. I can actually look over here. Um, where'd that oil can go? Here. And the matches. You need to get the matches from Kai. Otherwise, you could not trigger this hidden objects challenge. Woohoo! Okay, there are the shears. Those are the items uh, you're supposed to find here. Hey, the two butterflies. Hey, I found them. Um, that wasn't so bad. Okay, a cigar, a comb, and a mask. Okay, and now I need to find a heart. Yarn and a pair. Buttons. A spider. A mushroom. And uh, I don't see any flower pot. There it is. That one went relatively well, thank goodness. Okay. Okay, so now I can go inside here. Let's see, that's a, a shovel part. It goes over there for a shovel. We, we take a look at this. It explains how to make a jack-o'-lantern. You know, just in case you don't know how. That's how you make a jack-o'-lantern. Oh, well, looks like I need to uh, carve it first. Carve it, then light the candle. I mean, I guess that makes sense that you you you, you carve the jack-o'-lantern before lighting the candle. But it feels like you could light the candle at any point in the operation of making a, a jack-o'-lantern, right? Okay, so that's the uh, third thingamabobber. I don't even know what you call that. Code plate, code plate. Okay, code plates. Okay, let's go back to Kai. We have the two figurines here. It's gonna give us this somewhat complicated code plate puzzle. Okay, let's get this uh, puzzle solved. Uh, solution written down. That's how I was able to get that solution so quickly. Uh, I don't think I'd be able to solve that puzzle so easily on my own. It is a difficult puzzle, most definitely. And a butterfly. Oh boy, this is another difficult puzzle. Okay, let's see if I can solve it. Okay, so I've got the uh, Ice Queen's uh, frozen heart. Hmm, it's bundled up now. Ah, I yes. wonder why. You found where we hid the icy heart. I was a captive of the Ice Queen years ago. She forced me to find shards of the magic mirror and repair it. But Gerda saved me. The warmth of her love broke the spell, and I shattered the mirror and scattered the shards, including the Ice Queen's fragmented hearts. The Ice Queen cannot gain her full strength without her heart. But Edward is in her power, and the shards are coming into place. I believe you can save him, as once Gerda saved me. Take the Icy Heart to the castle. Edward is there. My heart warms. The cold is retreating. Oh, hey. And now it's not an icy... Uh, I mean, now it's not a bundled heart anymore. It's just a normal, normal heart. 
mean, obviously, it's still icy. That's that's not very normal, is it? Okay, book challenge. Interesting book challenge, I suppose. Oh, and here's the ice queen, here to be mean to me again. You have something of mine. Give me the heart, or I'll freeze you like a statue! You don't really need that heart, come on. What? You're protected! Oh wow, well, there's her... There's her castle, that's actually not too far away, you know what? I should, uh... Skip like a quarter of the game by uh, just jumping off uh, this this area here and just running all the way to her castle. That would be cool. Yeah, that totally looks like that's within hiking distance. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm supposed to have a pair of warm tongs here. Um, let's go back to the hotel. Let's see, are the warm tongs here? In the area that the screen is zooming in on? Yes! Good, thank you, game. Okay. So, pick the warm tongs. This is another puzzle I'm somewhat worried about. Fortunately, I have the solution. Um, there we go, there's that solution. Okay. good. I almost have this one uh, over here on the left, don't I? Um, but that's not the number I'm trying to get. I'm trying to get number seven. Man, right-clicking and left-clicking on that puzzle is such a hassle. Um, I hope people will forgive me for doing badly on that puzzle. Okay, there's a butterfly part. I'm gonna grab that and then use the butterfly part. Grab both of those items there. Let's see, that one goes first, that one goes first, and then here's a puzzle that I'm not very worried about. It's 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 quite simple. It's just a jigsaw puzzle. And uh, this one, much easier than the one we just solved. of figuring out which one is which. Okay, this is a gondola part. I can see the gondola there. This is a castle part. Oh goodness, a gondola part. That was just me guessing it went on the side. Um, it's hard to tell. Okay, that one goes there. Okay, good. Yeah, because the decorative border is the same in uh, both cases, making it a somewhat difficult puzzle. Uh, not the not the worst puzzle ever, though. All right, so now let's get this puzzle. This is another puzzle I've got the solution written down for. Yeah, call me a cheater if you want. Okay, this piece goes upside down. Um, this piece looks like this. Done. Okay, and then uh, that should be the uh, last of puzzles I need to look up for a while. Okay, where do I? Okay, press my key. 
put my ticket there and the start. And then this is gonna give us cutscene. This is why I was talking earlier about walking to the Ice Queen's castle. Because we're gonna fall. Like, it would've been so much easier just to walk there from the town. But no, I'm gonna fall to the dungeons, and that's that's just really terrible. I don't wanna fall to the dungeon. Well, I do have to go to the dungeon anyway to save uh, Kai and Gerda's daughter, so I, I guess it's convenient. But still, I don't wanna fall. I really, I really don't. That that is not the ideal way to get around. Yeah, and then you know, like we we have an elevator, which is really hard to reach, too, because we fell. Okay, and I got everything there. Great, and now I go across, and then here I have a hidden objects challenge. Let's see, um, Warren over here. Oh, come on, that totally goes there. Start using hints. Oh my gosh, okay. Should be able to find some of these items on my own. Okay, there's a map. Uh, a feather and a magnifier. Well, this is not both well, because this is one of those hidden objects puzzles that we have to do uh, multiple times. Oh boy, okay, a feather and a seahorse. I see a wing. Wings have feathers, right? Don't see a seahorse anywhere. There it is. There it is, now that the game has told me exactly where it's located, I was able to find it. Oh boy. Okay, I need to light this. Giving me a uh, snowflake so now I can go inside. Oh, hey, what do you know? Like I said, we needed to save uh, Kai and Gerda's daughter. Rose is right here. Help me escape my icy prison. Yeah, Ice Queen fooled her. So she she was tricked into changing places with the Ice Queen in that prison. Poor, poor Rose. Poor Rose. That's not good times. Hmm, okay. I need to find a way to break through the ice. And uh, here I grab that wrench. Now I go all the way outside. I use my wrench here. It's gonna be, give me a valve. And uh, let's see, here I need to use my knife multiple times. Uh, all right, get those items. And hidden objects part two. That was good. Okay, great. That gave me a hammer. Okay, now we'll no longer have to be outside again. That's that's basically it for the outside area. Good. Now for the elevator. Yeah, we're here in the caves. I, I guess that's what we can call this area, the cave area. Might as well. Okay, that area needs a brick. Uh, and there is a uh, ladder there. And I'm not seeing any item, which is super useful, so I hope that we get something useful from the Hidden Objects Challenge. Uh, I just got a, a, what do you call it, a, a ruby. That's an item I need at one point, so maybe that's the uh, super important item. Uh, number eight. Yeah, that's the domino. I not get that? Oh man, I uncovered that thing and didn't touch it. That's silly. Okay, and the final item I need to find is this candlestick. Okay, so let's use this ruby red eye over here. It's an 
another puzzle I have the solution for. one I had written down. <laughs> so obviously that's the one I uh, used. Okay, and there's the, uh, the brick for the wall. Give me another token, just making sure there's nothing there, which uh, there isn't. That's good. Oh, gotta cut this. Get some shackle. Prism goes over here, and this is gonna be a bit of a long puzzle. So, um... Start with the yellow pieces on the left, shall we? There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Now I need to get these yellow pieces on the right, sort of, over to the left. myself a little bit more room there for another purple. In the middle, I can have all, all those browns there on the right. Done. Okay, yeah, solve that puzzle. I feel bad for anybody who's specifically watching the video just for that puzzle. It's, it's like a, what, 50 I deserve steps. this. It's all my fault. Following every single I'm step the one I who released the Snow Queen. Been, uh, kind of I just wanted that one glistening rose. And the man in the robe said it was harmless to take it. But he was wrong. So wrong. I awakened her, and she escaped her icy prison and put me in her place. There's only one way to release me. Find the ice rose. Here, I need the uh, blue. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can grab from here uh, quite yet. Okay, so elevator button. I guess I have to get to the elevator. Use a hammer over here for a candle. Let's see, there's nothing we need here quite yet. So let's finish this ladder. Using the hammer and nails on that. Should give us a ladder, which is working perfectly. I'm gonna use ladder up here. Grab these two items. Sun and the moon and a blue eye. So let's see. Uh, sun and the moon and that blue candle we got from the elevator and the matches okay life is going to be a plant truth is going to be a unicorn i still don't understand that uh love is a heart uh lies is a mask because if you're wearing a mask you're lying about your identity death is a dead person that makes perfect sense actually more sense than unicorn <laughs> Ruth. Anyway, we got the fire key. We've got the blue rose, and we put it here to free rose. Oh, 
bless you. I'm warm for the first time in years. You have the strength to defeat the Ice Queen. But hurry, time is only a pawn in her hands. Go, save your beloved before he succumbs to the Ice Queen. Hmm. Years, huh? I guess maybe the Ice Queen... I don't know, if the Ice Queen was smart, she would have just waited for like a hundred years before doing anything, then just assuming that everyone would have forgotten about her and, and Kai and Gerda, and therefore nobody would have been able to save them because just too much time had passed. They'd passed from the memories of the living. I don't know, I'm just... Just guessing here, that could have been a strategy. Clearly that is not the strategy the Ice Queen went with. Okay, so the one eyeball goes over here. And looks like I need a blue eyeball. Yeah, no, no, I need another green eyeball, my mistake. Okay, so that gives us a book about Rose. Why is it over here? I don't know, I don't know. Okay. Find the three roses. Yeah, with all the other people, they're like, they're, their journals were close to them, right? Oh, uh, I guess it's not a journal, it's a book of memories. That's what it says at the bottom of the screen. Rose's curiosity was her weakness. She was so desperate to see the Ice Queen that she crept into the icy tomb in secret. The Ice Queen lay there, cold, beautiful, and surrounded by icy roses. Unable to resist, Rose touched the flowers and felt a mortal chill. At that moment, the Ice Queen awoke and looked Rose in the eyes, freezing her as an ice statue. Rose was the sacrifice the Ice Queen needed to return to life. As Rose's eyes closed forever, she saw the Ice Queen's past. She saw the truth. Curiosity ruined her family's lives. Now, Rose's only wish is that her misdeeds could be corrected. books too that's that's another question i have so many questions let's see shackle goes here hacksaw goes there spool and the shackle go there giving us the last eyeball thing in the bobber so the two eyeballs go there And now the fire in Mr. Red is gone, so we can grab these things. And before we leave, let's do this hidden objects challenge. Bagpipes. Okay, here's a face. Open this for number six. Uh, figurines inside there. Centaur. Let's see if I can find any of the other items. Uh, life preserver should be rather large and easy to find, right? There's the orb. Um, there's a pepper. There's a horn. Let's see if I can find a shell or that life preserver. There's a shell. That life preserver is half hidden off screen, so that's why I couldn't find it. Okay, light bulbs are all found. Why am I missing something here? The elevator, yes, of course. So use your handle there. Good, sorry, I thought I'd lost something or, or messed something up because I was missing a light bulb, but I was not. I was supposed to step forward. That is a very difficult puzzle. Okay, so uh, here, I believe we just put these three things in the place, and I need a special key, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna go forward uh, over here. Ice Queen's gonna cause me some problems. How did you get this far? You annoying little worm! I can't freeze you, but I can stop you! Mm, it's 
stop me. Get in my way for a little bit. Yeah, she did not actually stop me, I'd say. Alrighty, let's keep going. Let's see, that's where the keys go. Actually, wait, I forgot my paper. Wasn't there a random paper, like, over... Yeah, okay, Queen's face goes here. Here's the random paper I was thinking of. Okay, it's right there. Good. It's looking at everything, like, where's the paper? I don't know. I don't know. Light a fire and get some hidden objects, shall we? I think the item I'm supposed to find is a pair of tongs, which I don't see anywhere. I think I missed the wrench. Two hints for the same wrench. That's just silly. Where are those ice tongs? There they are. Okay, that gives me a cane, which I can use here. Like that's used for two different puzzles, the cane. It hasn't left my inventory, so I'm not I'm not finished with it yet. Okay, and that gives me a blue rose and a hidden objects challenge. What do you know? Okay, figurine. That's gotta be the item uh, that I'm supposed to find here. Okay, here's a knife and a jack-o'-lantern, there's a horseshoe. I can find the camo and the octopus at all. There's the octopus. And a spring and then a cup. Um, there's a cameo, there's a cup. Excellent. So let's see. Just double check to make sure there's nothing. I've missed here, that's where all the figurines go. Uh, okay, here we go, those are the keys to the house. That's what I was missing. So the keys to the house are over there. Uh, you can reach the house earlier, it doesn't really matter. Good, okay. Got myself unstuck, um, and uh, didn't have to do any crazy backtracking either. So that's always nice. something for that, like a heart piece to go there. Um, okay. We need to find the, that pipe at some point. Maybe this one, maybe this one is just the ruby, okay. Maybe the ruby is the item I find this time. Or maybe it's a key, I don't know. I will be as surprised as you are when we find out what item it is we, we get. <laughs> and then I have to figure out where to use it really, really quickly. I guess I could use the map to help me, but that's just kind of cheating. Okay, so key is up here. That's not the important item, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, a red feather, oh my gosh. Okay, so that's the hat of that one soldier. It's not actually a very important item. <laughs> So let's see. Okay, that gives me a sack, and it gives me a halberd. Halberd, uh, more useful. Use it up here. It's 
So a cannonball and picture part number three. Uh, picture parts go over here for this puzzle, which is not that bad of a puzzle. Okay, so this piece goes over there. And then I need uh, also to find uh, the other piece. Which piece is that guy's? Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, and uh, his hat is like that. And his shoes, that piece is going to be his shoes. Um, so let's see. And I think this is the left and right. Yeah, so that piece is good. Okay, so let's get the topmost piece into place. And then the other three were all in place. Great. Okay, figurine and a rose. Good. Good. Okay. This is another puzzle, which is kind of difficult. I mean, that, that version of the puzzle is not difficult at all. a very very big relief okay you might have noticed I uh, messed up on that puzzle had to hit the reset button I tried to be sly about it but it's possible I was not as sly as I expected that's where I was supposed to use the cane I guess I could use the cane there earlier in fact I should have used the cane there earlier that way I could have gotten this figurine at the same time I got everything else Okay, figuring puzzle. Let's see. That dude goes there. Let's see. Flowers for the woman. Um, that guy has like a spell book, right? Um, let's see. A mirror and a spell book. Hey, hey, what do you know? Okay. Managed to solve two of those things at once, and we've got another hidden objects challenge. Who could have seen that coming? Everyone, I suppose. <laughs> okay, let's see. Boxing gloves. There's the gear. That's the item we need. I think we're done with this area, basically. Once we go inside that castle, we're never coming out again. And I don't mean we'll, we'll be dead. I just mean we're just not going to leave it, because why would we... I guess the ice cream could kill us. You know, that's always a possibility. There's a cane, much like the one I just gave up while smashing that thing like a pinata. Scalpel and binocular. Why can't I find them? Found them. Okay, there's the scalpel. Yeah. Just here at the end of this area, we find these two items. That's how they make sure you don't leave this area, like, early. We've got two items here at the very end of the area. So it opens up the gates, and we can go inside. Uh, let's see, I felt like there was a Snow Queen attack there somewhere, but I guess I was wrong. Oh, I didn't mean to grab that. That's a morphing object. Yeah, I didn't need a morphing object. Okay, um... Grab that by accident. Here's the Ice Queen's backstory, in case you were wondering uh, what's up with her. Was she always evil? Was she always a crazy villain? Uh, answer, no. No. She was, actually, she was actually a cute little child. The Ice Queen's weakness lay in her past as a human capable of love. Once upon a time, a kind and sensitive princess lived in this castle. When her beloved kitten disappeared, the girl cried for days until her father gave her a ring to comfort her. The father told her that losses are a part of life, 
and they must be accepted. But when the plague took her parents that spring, the princess couldn't accept it, so she called the magician for aid. Princess wanted to bring her parents back, and then the pain. So the magician locked the girl's heart in ice and gave her a broken magic mirror. The princess with a broken heart became the ice queen. Her one wish was to bring back the winter when her parents were alive. complicated area I'm, 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 I'm sorry to say I feel like I'm already missing something here but that's okay let's just forge on ahead up oh, ice queens visiting so you made it into my castle do you like my living snowmen charming aren't they soon you and your precious Edward will join them very threatening and stuff not very nice at all in the slightest, I would say. Okay, there's a uh, hidden object challenge, and there's the hook. That hook. Okay, and that's the item we're actually supposed to find, the number three. So yeah, that hook was supposed to go on the rope I saw earlier. That's why I was clicking on the rope. I knew it was a thing I do at some point. Um, guess I tried to do it just a little bit too early. Where's the rest of the TR? Here it is. Brush, glasses, garlic. There's a brush. And then glasses here. Okay, yeah, we need to find lots of gravestones. Then let's see, do I have anything to pry open this? You know, I don't know why I still have the dagger and the hacksaw. I really feel like these are items I should have gotten rid of a long time ago. Um, yeah. Yeah, now I'm second guessing myself and really hoping that there's no item I, I come across later that really, yeah. Well, I guess maybe this is why I had the knife. Okay, okay, I'm finally done with the knife. Good, okay. And then, um, nothing here. That hammer is just a morphing object which I am supposed to ignore. Empty bag, yeah, that's another item I've been carrying around forever, the empty bag. A wheel, yeah, I think that's the item we're supposed to find, the wheel. There's an accordion on the screen. Ugh. Here it is. Pegasus. I know how to find that. Wing on the Pegasus. There we go. Beautiful. Mouse. Helmet's easy to find, too. That's a spindle, huh? I thought that was just a cool necklace. Yeah, yeah, use your improvised crowbar here. I don't know why the game didn't, except the first time I used that crowbar. Okay, we go down here. Uh, let's see. We move that into place. Put that into place. We're gonna take a look at this. I believe I put the gunpowder and the cannonball into place. And uh, then the matches blow this up. It's gonna give me another puzzle, which is difficult. Up here, this puzzle. Solving that puzzle uh, quite yet. Ah, I don't use the crowbar here. I, I just automatically get the water. I thought I had to use something in order to get that water, but I guess I was wrong. Let's go back upstairs. I'm gonna use the water here for another rose. And then another hidden object challenge. Okay. Ah, there's rose number three. Okay, cool. Ice tongs. Yeah, when you play uh, this game multiple times in a row, you, you notice they've got some items which just reappear in multiple object challenges. 
guess that's just the nature of hidden objects challenges. Okay, there's a bugle. Where's our letter? Um, here, inside that thing. Okay, I think that's it. Um, I know that's not going to be it. I, I know I, this guy needs a mask. Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, hint to basically tell me what I do here. Ah, okay, the final mosaic piece. That's why I was missing. Okay, final. Uh, that wasn't a hint. That was just using the uh, the map in place of a hint. That's so cheating. Um, yeah, I'm a cheater. I'll eventually get this middle piece in place and not have to worry about the middle ever again. I think that could have been that middle piece there and I missed it. Come on. This isn't a bad puzzle, it's just too random for my taste. There we go. I think this is gonna have like a corner piece. Like if each of these pieces had been limited by say like four, just cut out four of the possibilities for each of these pieces. I feel like that would have been an improvement. There we go. Okay, so now I've got my crystal ball, which is fantastic. I use my roses here. And now I can kind of uh, do that light puzzle, which I was, I was sort of doing there. And, uh, failing. Uh, hidden objects time. Oh boy, and another place where I, I tend to screw up, uh, is... Well, here. Um, yes. But, uh, this, this, uh, the, the, the puzzle getting all of the various, um, uh, gravestone numbers. You need four of them. Four of them. And I don't know how many I have right now. La 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 la. Find out in the worst possible way when the game says you're not done, you're not done, go home, go home, I've only got one. Wow, okay, I've got one of the pieces I need. And I need several more. Three more. Let's see, these pieces go together. Yes, those pieces go together. It can be kind of difficult with those colors uh, looking alike. Uh, let's see. Got it. Yeah, no way to mess this up now. Okay, got another number. Move those aside. I need the book key here. Let's see, a trowel over to the left, I think. For the book key. Giving me more numbers and a ring. All right, let's get that final gravestone number. I need all of them. Uh, the one I was missing here, I guess I had the crowbar all along, so I guess I could have gotten it earlier. Darn, oh well. I did get confused as to why I had old items in my inventory. Um, okay, let's see if I can figure out this without any problems whatsoever. Nope. Okay, there's one. Okay, 43. Um, let's go with 20. Oh no, 52. Those are uh, those people's ages, and we get a hidden objects challenge. Well, not their ages, their dates of birth. Um, I guess 
how most gravestones normally work. Okay. Relatively well in here, and the final thing I need is a horn here. Yay, that code part puzzle. Not my uh, favorite of puzzles uh, at all, actually. I don't know, I haven't put any thought to what my favorite puzzle in this game is. Um, I just know that's not one of them. Yeah, that particular puzzle is just sort of a, a, a long, complicated puzzle. Okay, let's go inside and meet Edward. I don't think I don't think that thing there is actually an item. I think that was a morphing object. I tried to defeat her, but I grow weak. Please give me the shard. She will never let us be. Edward, here you go. Here's your precious shard. Now let us go. Idiot! Weakling! I knew you'd give me the shard! I am all powerful now! Nothing can stop me! <laughs> you promised to let us go! idea why she freezes only Edward instead of freezing our main character. Uh, would have been a really good idea on her part to freeze our main character, I would say. Uh, okay, cufflinks. Let's see, a slingshot photo. Is that seahorse? Yeah, we've had to find so many seahorses. Somebody in this company must really like seahorses. Feather, goblet, and teapot. I think those are all items we found, too. Um, yeah. Oh, there's the feather. Okay, found a lot of rings there. got the beam uh, switched for over there, I believe. And uh, actually, I'm not sure where I'm going right now. Oh, okay, I'm going upstairs. That's a door sign. Yes, okay. So uh, the solution to this puzzle is going to be... Right, we're pretty close to the end of the game now. Um, actually, surprisingly close. There's another door piece. And this is Edward's memory book. I say surprisingly close to the end of the game. We've still got a bonus game to go through. So that'll be fun. And we still got a randomized puzzle which uh, has no set solution. So Edward's fascination with legends was his weakness. Searching for answers brought him to Rosemount where he was captured. According to legend, when a mortal restores a magic mirror, eternal winter falls over the world. The Ice Queen believed it would bring her parents back. Many tried to restore the mirror only to turn to ice, but Edward succeeded and winter covered the world. But the magician's promise didn't come true, for not even magic can bring back the dead. Icebound, Edward felt the Ice Queen's grief and anger. That's when he realized that the only way to defeat Winter was by melting the frozen heart, and only love can melt a heart. Okay, there's another door lock piece. Uh, I have four out of four now. Oh boy, um, can't solve that puzzle yet though. Okay, let's see. Here's that random puzzle I told you about. Okay, that piece goes there. Let's see where the other pieces go. And then what, the water piece goes there towards the bottom?
Okay, the red piece has to be one above the blue piece. Oh, how did that not work? Okay. There. Okay. Those pieces are connected. Of course, all three of these pieces are connected. Look, that piece goes there, that piece goes there, and then uh, this piece goes here. Got it. Wow, that was lucky. Okay, yeah, that was... That could have gone way, way worse, let me tell you. Okay, uh, over here. We grab the tiara, and then it's going to go here for this terrible puzzle. So, um, let's get this started. It's just a cipher puzzle, so it's not too tough. So everything starts with one, and it's all in the 1600s, so the second digit's always going to be a star. try to make no mistakes here because when you mess up you have to go through the entire sequence of numbers again and that's a huge pain okay okay so the queen was 43 i think that was the queen i could be wrong butterfly here you don't actually see her parents so who knows 89 um bird and then fish okay 52 here for the king Two is snowflake and then sun. And then 89 as well. Oh, well, they died together. That's right, they both died of the plague. I guess that makes it slightly easier than uh, it could have been. Um, you know, with those characters all dying at the sort of the same time. Basically, you're doing the same number twice. Let's see, uh, I need the final ring up there. So let's see, I put the mirror here. And that's My winter piece. world is winning! Blah, blah, blah. Witness the glory of snow and ice! It's just the glory of me not caring. And I don't know how I'm protected uh, from the Snow Queen's wrath anymore, to be honest. Um, I don't have the mirror shard which protected me earlier on. In the game. In any case, it doesn't matter. He is defeated. End of the game. Then we'll tackle the bonus game. Oh, and this tower told me. victims of the Snow Queen. I certainly do are the Ice Queen, Snow Queen, whatever we're calling her. I just wonder what happens to her other victims. Because they were all frozen. Don't they get to, to be saved? Don't they deserve some saving? I don't know. Okay. So I am not very good at this uh, this this um, this game. Uh, the, the bonus game. I'm just just not the, the best at the bonus game and remembering how to solve these puzzles. Okay, I need something to protect my hand here first. And something to reach the chisel. And that over there. But uh, once you get started, uh, it's not too You've tough. You've spoiled what I have been working toward for many years. At least there is still the blue rose. You destroyed the queen's heart, but I am stronger and smarter. Like once you find enough items here, it's 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 good. And you're good to go. Um, let's see. 
I need all the fish parts before I can solve that puzzle. Okay, that destroys my way to Edward. I need a wheel before I can wheel that after the villain. The blue rose is all powerful. This guy is just so random. Just a random villain, no explanation. Who is this guy? What is he doing here? Why is he so villainous and mean? I don't know. We're never gonna get told. We're never gonna see him again. We do see him in the ending though. So I, 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 sorry. I guess I was using the gauntlet on the wrong spot. I guess make up your own backstory for uh, that random villain. I had the solution to this puzzle written down, otherwise I'd never be able to do it that well. And there is a mirror shard. And eventually we'll reach the point where um, the puzzles are easy enough to do. Or at least the, the puzzles are just so straightforward. Um, it's, there's, there's none of this uh, wandering back and forth. So yeah, I think I've actually reached the point. Um, no, I haven't because I have no idea what this chisel is used for. Um, okay, so my map says uh, the, the courtyard is where I uh, use the chisel. No, it says the courtyard is where I have that lightning bug. Um, chisel over here, right. Uh, for a hidden objects challenge. Okay, good. I thought I was really screwing up there, but it turns out there was an item there that I was missing, which was that one, um... One um, fly thing, lightning bug, firefly, whatever you want to call it. So that's fortunate. That's fortunate when I, I, I you know, I'm messing up, but I, I do it in such a way where I actually find an item I needed to get anyway, and so it looks less like I'm messing up and more like I'm doing it on purpose. And yeah, the people who are watching this without commentary are like, "Wow, oh, he's really smart," or not? I don't. Uh, I'm probably not able to hide uh, in, during these these hidden object challenges, <laughs> where I'm just 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 smashing the hint button like there's no tomorrow. Uh, a hint and a pawn, not a hint. A spoon and a pawn. Okay, spoon, you've got to help me out here. Make me look good. Show up in my range of vision. Nope. That is not a spoon. What? I don't even know. Yeah, that's 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 many things, I guess, but it's not a spoon. Okay, found that item, and the gaff is gonna go here. Give us a new area. all figured out. Okay, things over on the left. Uh, things over on the right. Got that figured out. In the center we have those things, and then we have these things. Great, great. Uh, casket? Oh, I can solve the casket puzzle now. Cool. Just want to rotate these rings so they look beautiful. Great, mural part. Okay, that goes over here. Alright, now let's see if I can solve this puzzle. It's going to be, um... That's gonna be... And this twice. This one. This one. This one. One, two, three. Wow, that was a great solution. Yeah, that, was, that was really, really good. <laughs> I'm still missing a token. Um, over here, yes, the cannonball. 
And, uh, no, that was just a broken bomb. Alright. Uh, final token's over here. Found it. Okay. That is just a, a mean token to find. Yeah. Okay, well, moving on to this puzzle then. I don't have any hints or uh, notes for any of the other puzzles. Really. Um... I, I don't know, I didn't mean to back away from that puzzle. So, uh, everything here on out is just me. Let's see. This piece is obviously going to go at the bottom. Yeah, finding those side pieces is probably the best. Let's see. This one has two pieces connecting. Yeah, that doesn't look like it. Doesn't look like it. There we go. Got it. Okay. Great. Um, I bet this is like that. Yeah. This is probably the upper upper area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's got to be this one. Yeah. Okay, and where's the final piece of the puzzle? Um, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, there it is. Okay. I thought that was a piece I was already in place. Okay. <laughs> Good, okay. New area. Whew. Alrighty. Let me see. Okay, so that knight. Hand, and then shield. Uh, I guess I need the sword first. An objects challenge. Oh, I guess the hint was saying that sword there. Okay, part of the bell's missing. Perfectly fine to me. <laughs> uh, decanter, letter A, book, and a card. Camel. I see the card. And the collar. That's the book. Okay, let's find the hammer. Let's see, a decanter is a thing you drink from, right? Looks like that, apparently. <laughs> so I've gotten the hammer before. Is that? Nope, that's not. Yeah, that hammer looked exactly like those leg bones in that skeleton. I don't know who the skeleton is. Where are we? Yeah, there's just a random skeleton hanging around. Near a, a knight's sword. That's not something useful. Okay, so it looks like I have found the lid to the broken lamp, but I'm still needing um, one more uh, bug. Okay, so I'm still here underground. Do, 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 do. We give that guy the sword, we give that guy the shield, and there's a mirror shard. Okay, great. That opens up a new location. I think we needed a new location. I was sort of dying on those old locations. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Shard goes over here. It's giving us a cutscene. I guess we needed a cutscene to watch a, a gate fall over. It's a very dramatic cutscene indeed. Okay, so what do we have here? What do we have here? Well, we have the doll. We have the final bug, so that's good. All the bugs go here. Great, now we can light up that underground area. There's the helmet for the night. Let's go over here to the table. And uh, I think this is everything. Um, okay, the gunpowder is going to go in the broken bomb. But I'm still going to need a fuse. And I don't see anything else here. Uh, I don't see anything else here for me to grab. So let's go back underground.
Use both those items I found. Lamp reveals some symbols. It's the sun and the moon. So let's do the sun and the moon. Let's do the moon first, it looks like. I don't think it matters what order you do those two in, but whatever. Just following the instructions there at the bottom of the screen. Don't see anything there. I see Edward. Uh, that mirror is gone. Poor Edward. Poor Edward's in a, a terrible state, isn't he? Okay, I guess it was over here. I was supposed to grab the claw key. And then, uh, let's go back. Actually, wait, I'm missing something near the mirror. Ah, up here. Right, okay, that is a lighter. Okay, well, those were easy to miss objects. Let's find some items. Okay. That is a fuse, I think, for the bomb. Monkey in a tree. Uh, handcuffs, newspaper, four, star. Number three. Easy one to get at least. Apple. Feather. Newspaper. Newspaper there. Great. I don't see any dinosaurs, though. Oh, there's a dinosaur. Yeah, it's a well hidden dinosaur. Uh, a flask is uh, another thing that we drink from. And the handcuffs. Those things. Oh, I guess those are handcuffs of, of, a, of a variety, yeah. Yeah, still wondering where that claw foot is uh, gonna be used, though. Oh, and there's a pickaxe. Okay, right, right, right. Okay, so that's going to be uh, an area we're gonna go here to the forest. We're using the pickaxe to destroy this, giving us a wheel. And we're gonna use the wheel uh, back over here at the castle. Just using the, the map to warp me there. Saves me a ton of time, actually. Don't know why the pickaxe wasn't working there. It should have been working. We've got the bomb, we light the bomb. Major area of the game. Uh, well, basically, like the final major area of the game, even. So let's see. Feather there. Uh, not feather, rose. And then let's go into Random Villain's house, shall we? Here's his claw key. Grab that to get some sulfur. That's a recipe, that's another petal. And over here on the right, we have something we can't use quite yet. I need to melt a little. Okay, lighter and then uh, use the sulfur there. A little acid should dissolve that lock. Sure should. We need to light this and then put in the sulfur, right? Is that it? Okay, I think that's it. You know, this is gonna make me some acid to destroy that lock outside. Excellent. This this puzzle's not difficult at all, so uh, no worries. It's just matching things. simple. Okay, and then this is a hidden objects challenge. Alright, let's do this. and a horn. I think this means an 
alchemy, so any tweezers for that. Tweezers for that. I'm just double checking that there's an item here which I actually need. Yes. What is that? A pestle? It's a pestle. Okay, that's gonna go over here. Yee, creepy eyeball. Okay. Mirror shards are gonna go there. So now we need to warp like all the way back to the castle. Um over here near the house and then back here yeah I guess we're supposed to walk back to the castle that way you notice the uh, hidden objects challenges so that's the uh, one little shard there rose rose I know there's something we do here we go we clean that up to get the ice queen Uh, no, I'm not saying anything else. I'm tired. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, where's my pistol? Where's my spade? Where's my spur? It's late. It's past my bedtime. I actually, you know, I was up past my bedtime for like three hours yesterday, uh, last night. So, um, not on purpose, mind you. Just gonna fall asleep. Couldn't fall asleep. Final item is a fish. Okay, tweezers are gonna go back here for, um, oh, we got another hidden objects challenge. Well, that's just perfect. I, I, I really wanted one of those. Um, but no, uh, that rose thing was for a puzzle back in that one area that I was trying to get to. Um, eggplant, wine glass on the shoe to get a red shoe. Top, empty wine glass, candle thing, and uh, pencil. Wow, jeez. Was I just complaining about being sleepy? Because uh, I just killed that challenge. Yeah, but the destroyed tower, it's, it's over here. First of all, I need the Water of Life. I don't remember what order we do this in. Then do I need the uh, Magic Roots? And then it's gonna need the Mirror Dust. Okay, so over here on the right. Kinda, I mean on the left, sorry. <laughs> I thought I was tired. find these these uh, mirrors I mean oh my gosh what kind of recipe is this small mirror pieces ouch okay so now that we have the water of life we're gonna go all the way back to uh, the, the castle area the destroyed tower here just dump it on here. We get a blue rose. Alrighty, so that's what we need to change Edward back. And then we're going to get a brief glimpse of Random Villain as Random Villain leaves the game. He's got a bunch of those blue roses. And the Ice Queen, apparently. I thought I defeated her forever. Eh, no. 
don't know, maybe there's gonna be a sequel. Who knows, there are plenty of other games in the Living Legends series. Anyway, that's it. Thank you very much for watching my uh, playthrough. Sorry I got a little tired there at the end during the bonus game. Um, I think, as I said, I, I haven't played the bonus game as much as I played the main game. So it, it, it did trip me up a little bit. Kind of a lot. Okay, yeah, it tripped me up a lot.